What's up? Today I'm going to be reacting to Trump's Super Tuesday victory. Um, you know, as a, I'm not a MAGA guy at all. I really don't think Trump is going to really help with the economy much. Uh, I made a video about that too, if you want, I'm going to link it below. But um, yeah, so let's get right into the video. If you want to do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, the like button. Uh, and put the bell notifications on, on all, that way you get all my future content, anything I make here on the channel. But alright, let's get to the video. Peace. So if you look at the, the numbers, right, uh, Trump has, uh, many more, de many more delegates than Nikki Haley. And again, it's because, it's kind of that effect of, um, you... Trump is a really good personality, right? So when when you think about like the American people don't look into this stuff, right? They're probably working, they're probably doing other things, right? Cuz politics is this boring thing, right? So when you see Trump and you see the way he's being persecuted, it's like, you know, and you know, based on the little information people actually, you know, look into because of other reasons, right? They think that he's being persecuted, he's doing, they're doing all these things to him, and in reality, they're all nonsense. You know, all these persecutions are nonsense. But it's not nonsense because they want him to not be in power. It's nonsense because they don't want the, uh, the American people to know what's actually going on, right? Uh, so, again, and how bad even like, the the media that used to support Biden because they didn't like Trump, you know, now majority of the coverage is like, um, Trump's bad, Trump's this evil man, but is he really that evil, you know? And look, I don't think he's, you know, being rightfully prosecuted, I think it's Swiffer says that is, doesn't know what they're talking about, right? But I think also at the end of the day, you know, you have to realize the American people, we're not the smartest human beings, right? Um, I believe we have an IQ of a, of the equivalent to an eighth grader. The American people have like an eighth grade literacy rate. And I'm about to show that right now. The National Literacy Institute, um, the average Americans, 54% of adults in, in the U.S., have a literacy rate below 6th grade. So the average American can't even reach a 5th to 6th grade literacy rate, right? And so, again, this is not saying those people are bad people. They're probably great people. But, like, at the end of the day, expecting a 5th or 6th grader to understand the ins and outs of U.S. politics is, is kind of, like, non-realistic, right? Like, you, like, you can't put, like, the average American, like, again, like, to understand the ins and outs of how things work, right? To look into all these things. And, you know, that's a knock on our educational system. Uh, our, we don't properly fund educational systems. We always end up privatizing things. And so what happens is when you privatize these, privatize, uh, educational programs, when you privatize healthcare, when you privatize mental health treatment, when you privatize all these different sectors, what you have is you have people who will do this for profit, right? So they will profit off of these things that really shouldn't be happening, right? And again, it's the same concept why I'm super pro 2A, right? I'm immensely pro gun, okay? And I think it's definitely the, the, the people, not the gun, right? When you have, like, you wouldn't trust your fifth or sixth grader with a gun, right? So why would you trust someone with the mental literacy rate equivalency to understand this stuff, right? I think a lot of it comes down to education. At the end of the day, a lot of Americans are malinformed. You have the corporate press setting the narrative, and no one seems to break from that, you know? That's why you'll have, like, uh, people like Steven Crowder reacting to CNN, right? Uh, because, again, like, because it's entertaining, yeah, to dunk on them. Absolutely it's entertaining. Do they deserve it? Absolutely. When you're funded by J.P. Morgan, I'm sorry, 
trying to moralize. You should be clowned for that, right? But at the end of the day, like, the the average American, again, according to the National, Inst National uh, Literacy Institute, can't even read, like, over 50% of Americans can't even, can't even read above a 6th grade level. Like, that's a problem. Like, that's a really bad problem. Because when society is dumbed down, they do not understand the ins and outs of things. They will vote in ways that are dumbed down, right? That's why Trump is so big at the end of the day. Like, whether I like it or not, whether people, some people like it or not, at the end of the day, he's a really popular candidate, and people think he's being persecuted. Partially because of, like I said, the literacy rate, the, um... You know, the fact that the corporate press controls the entire narrative around things, whether it's uh, conservative commentators, or it's people like Destiny or Hassan, or even on that side of the aisle, right? Like, I don't believe in left and right, specifically because of that reason, right? Like, a lot, I mean, and I'll link a video to this below where I go over how the, Amer how the American media just absolutely, like, just is a corporate hogwash to control what the talking points are, you know? But yeah, at the end of the day, that's kind of how this works, right? Like, you know, again, at the end of the day, look, Trump is immensely popular, right? At the end of the day. And I, all power to him, man. You know, if, a lot of the people who want to vote for him, I don't think it's my job to stop you, right? But at the end of the day, I think the what should be pointed out should be, like, clear-cut facts. Shouldn't be, like, you know, uh... All this, all these, all these, like, the picking sides and being divided, it just makes no sense to me, right? But, uh, yeah, but if you like the video, like I said, subscribe, like, like the video, uh, bell notification on. Alright, peace.